now we will discuss an important method to solve any partial differential equation this is known as lagrange method so first of all we have to know what is lagrange equation so lagrange equation is a first order quasi linear partial derivative of the form pp plus qq equals to r so that means in this case capital p q and r each one are the functions of x y and z so this is a lagrange equation so what will be auxiliary or subsidiary equation that will be dx by p equals to dy by q equals to dz by r so this is our auxiliary equation so how can we solve this lagrange equation so what is the method of lagrange basically we have to follow four steps first of all we have to first express the given equation in the standard form that is pp plus qq equals to capital r second step is we have to express the given lagrange equation in its auxiliary form that means we have to express the auxiliary equation that is dx by p equals to dy by q equals to dz by r suppose this is first equation so let's call one now what is third step in the third step we can assume two independent solutions for example u x y z equals to some c and v x y z equals to some c prime so these two are two independent solutions of the equation one that is these two are independent solutions of auxiliary equation so what is fourth one that means what will be general solution the general solution will be some phi of u v equals to zero so what is phi u v phi u v means u is a function of v or v is a function of u so we can write either u equals to psi v or v equals to psi u so this is the basic methodology to solve any lagrange equation and this method is known as lagrange method now suppose we are trying to solve this equation the equation is as follows x z p plus y z q equals to x y so that means this is in the form p p plus q q equals to r so what will be auxiliary form auxiliary equation will be d x by x z equals to d y by y z and d z by x y so that means the equation contains three fractions so if we consider only first two terms or first two fractions then we will get dx by x equals to dy by y because z will be cancelled out so that means log x will be log y plus log c so solution will be x equal to some c into y and the next if we consider second and third fractions then we will get dy by dz dy by yz equals to dz by cy square so how cy square because in place of x we can substitute cy so that's why it will be cy square so after cross multiplication it will be cy cy dy equals to z dz so that means solution will be xy minus z square equals to some c prime that means another arbitrary constant so that means we have computed two relations or two solutions so what will be the general solution general solution will be phi of x by y comma x y minus z square equals to zero because x by y equals to some constant x y minus z square is another constant that's why general solution will be phi of x by y comma x y minus z square will be zero so this is the solution of this lagrange equation and in this problem we have to solve y minus z times p plus z minus x times q equals to x minus y so this is the lagrange equation so how can we solve this the auxiliary equation will be of the form dx by y minus z equals to dy by z minus x equals to dz by x minus y fine this is the auxiliary equation now there are so many different ways to solve lagrange equation so in this case we will compute we will consider two different set of multipliers to solve this so here we have chosen two different set of multipliers 
in first case we have chosen 1 1 and 1 and in second case we have chosen x y and z so in case of 1 1 1 1 the given auxiliary equation that means each fraction will be equal to dx plus dy plus dz by 0 why 0 because what is the role of multiplier role of multiplier means we are considering 1 in numerator as well as in denominator so we are trying to compute the addendum so that's why we are adding the numerator that is dx plus dy plus dz and similarly we are adding corresponding denominators that means y minus z plus z minus x plus x minus y that's why that is 0 so fourth fraction is coming due to the multipliers 1 1 and 1 and how we get the fifth fraction if we consider the multipliers x y and z then again using addendo we will get x dx plus y dy plus z dz in the numerator so what will be denominator denominator will be x times y minus z plus y times z minus x plus z times x minus y that means in that case denominator will be 0 so that means we have got this type of equation so in both case denominator is 0 so if we consider these two relations then in the first case we can have dx plus dy plus dz equals to 0 that means x plus y plus z equals to constant and again for the fifth fraction x dx plus y dy plus z dz equals to 0 that means the solution will be x square plus y square plus z square equals to some arbitrary constant c prime so we have got two solutions what will be general solution general solution will be phi of x plus y plus z comma x square plus y square plus z square equals to 0 that means in case of general solution we don't write arbitrary constant so this phi is the general solution of this Lagrange equation